So this is a really lovely kit. After seeing it in this much detail, I feel like building one myself. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm gonna be looking at this really interesting kit. This is a uh, Aoshima Liberty Walk or LB Works R35 GTR Skyline. Now, Liberty Walk or LB Works is uh, one of the Japanese uh, tuning houses which has their own body kit design and then they also tune up the performance of the car. But uh, their uh, body kit design is actually really aggressive, very, very Japanese aesthetics and they do make already fantastic sports cars into more special sports cars, if that's a term you can use, more special. So super special. So they do do things on McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, all that sort of thing. But you know, being a Japanese uh, tuning house, why not have a closer look at what they've done with a Japanese car? So very nice kit, 24 scale. Let's see what they have inside the box. Okay, so actually let's have a look at the top of the box. Really nice photo of the actual car. As you can see, this is where all this aggressive bodywork is coming from. Massive wheel arches, super massive wheels, very angled, so it's got that very drift type street look. All new front end, rear end, wing, quite a lot of different things, bonnet, so there's not a lot of the original bodywork that you can see there. Quite aggressive, and I think it looks really nice. In a really basic white with a few decals, it's just Quite amazing, suits the car very well. Okay, let's see the inside of the box and all the parts. All right, so you can see there, there's a lot of parts indeed, because I start off with a basic R35, which is the bodywork just under here, and then we're gonna be bolting all this extra stuff on top. Okay, let me put this over here, and you'll see that I'll split the screen. We've got uh, white and black, because all the parts are basically white and black, and I'll use the uh, contrasting color so you can see what's going on. All right, let's see what's in this bag first. There's quite a variety of parts. All right, I'll put that over there. All right, let me just spread these parts out. Okay, so you've got some black parts there. We've got colored parts, we've got chrome, and we've got some white components. Okay, so obviously you've got the pre-cleared brake lights, which is really nice because uh, trying to paint clear, if you don't have an airbrush, uh, and you don't have the right technique by brushing it on, it can look pretty splotchy. Now if you brush on clear, and you need to be really heavy handed and let it settle before it dries up. So mixing it with a touch of water to act as a retarder helps. But having it already pre-molded makes it even better. Okay, so you've already got clear lenses there. We've got a section of black parts which are mainly interior. Okay, I'll move that out of the way there. So you've got your interior, um, uh, what do you call that? The door panels. We've got an insert here for the front grille, probably around here. Okay, you actually got uh, uh, some hatch details. You got your steering column, steering wheel, uh, this part I'm not too sure. You got your, uh, your brake lever, windshield wipers, uh, some air scoops. And they're from the original GTR. So whether or not you're gonna be using all these parts, not too sure, but they're all there anyway. Because again, this is a basic R35 kit with all the extras thrown in. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at some of those here now. So white parts, you've got, this is standard R35 rear end. And then these are standard R35 bonnet and side skirts. And that's the, uh, what would you call that? That's the base of the windscreen where the windscreen wipers go. And then you've got the mirrors as well. And then you've got, these are the reflectors for the front headlights. Okay, so let's put those aside. Put those over there. And we'll look at the next packet of parts. And over here, we've got some other bonnet components. So these are your LB Works parts. Okay, so actually, it's a bit hard to see, there's the clear parts. So clear parts, you've got the, the insert for the tail lights. So you've got the centers there, which are the clear parts for the indicators and also the brake light, not the brake light, the reverse light. These are sections for the headlights. And then you have the headlight covers right there. Over here, we've got a section of clear 
Red again, so this is probably a high mounted brake light. Very small section, just the lens in the center. And then we have a variety of all these white parts. Okay, so these parts here, you'll see this is actually marked LB on it. So these are the LB Works modified parts. So there's probably a front apron, whole front end. So two sections here. So that's the insert that goes into here. And you can see how quite different they are. Okay, so that's panel there. And then this one here is also LB Works. So this is uh, what I think is a ground effects, which is the, the rear apron. You've got a huge intercooler. You've got this big exhaust system. And then these are probably big calipers with all of your um, uprights for your suspension. Various intakes, probably for the front end. And then there's another insert there as well. So how they're used, I'm not too sure because that's going to be... So that's that part there. So you've got some options. So we'll find out in the instructions exactly which one you use. But there must be some variations between these different LB work kits and some of the parts you won't be using. Okay, and then of course we've got the bonnet. So you can see the super aggressive bonnet. You've got this massive intake. You've got large um, uh, slats across the side. So that's how they convert this into NLB works. It's a bit like a, um, what they call a trans kit. So trans kits are usually in resin because they're low production and they give you all the components that you add to make a particular version of a kit. But this is all in there and it's all uh, molded plastic. Okay, so here's our next lot of parts. All right, so here's your big wheels. You've got the inserts there with all the various spokes. Super nice, really fine. And then these are chromed, massive, massive rims. And here's the massive wheel arches. You can see how fat they are. I mean, they have to house these big massive tires there. So it's under, understandable why they're so massive. Okay, so that's that part there. All right, this particular set comes with the clear parts for the windscreens. Okay, so this is standard GDR. So these are the headlight covers. The headlight covers we saw earlier would be the specific LB Works ones. There will be some additional parts. You will be using this section because obviously the windscreen and the rear glass will be the same. There's different inserts here for the rear uh, tail lights. So I'm assuming that the ones we saw earlier will be different for LB Works. And then there'll be various lenses here too because uh, the side uh, indicators and such will probably be the same. So there's more there. And along with that, we've got this sheet here, which has all the decals on it. Okay, so this is going to have the Liberty Walk decals. Let's see if I can pick up this protective sheet here. You can see there. There's some white decals there as well for the, uh, the size of the tyres and a whole range of Liberty Walk decals. So there's quite a bit of customising. There's variations here. You've got black, white, and then there's also a silver finish as well. So you can fully customise that, I guess, just as a customer of the real um, car. Okay, so they're decals, and then you also have this sheet of masking. So window mask, you just have to peel up, they're already pre-cut. Apply those on the inside, spray it all black. Okay, so that gives the black surrounds. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, let's just pop these back in here. Now for a 24 scale kit, there's a lot of parts here. So I'll move on to the next one. All right, so the next bag comes with more reflective bits. All right, so we've got a wing section. And then we have interior. Okay, so this is interesting in that there's two interior buckets. Now, what's the difference? That's R35, that's R35. So the interiors are very similar, the buckets themselves may have something to do with a little bit of difference in the detailing on the back. And then there's an additional box here. So not a lot of difference, but there are slight differences. This one here would appear to be the original GDR components. You got the bucket seats, pretty standard. And then over here, we have uh, 
dashboard. So this is the right-hand drive. This is left-hand drive. Okay, that's, so that's probably the difference there. Oh, now that I look at it, you can see there's a slight difference in shape from the center console to suit left-hand drive or right-hand drive. So that's good too, give you all those sort of options. Okay, so we'll move that over here. All right, from there, we've got one more bag of parts. Actually, where do these go? These go back here. Oh, I didn't talk about those yet, have I? So these are the wing. So that's the massive rear wing for the LB Works. You've got the massive over uh, wing um, mounts. You've got the big side plates. Pretty chunky. And then this section here, we've got uh, GTR, so more reflective parts. So these are the backings for the rear lights. And then there's some more reflectors here for the headlights. But I think the earlier ones we saw would be the LB Works ones. You've got huge exhaust pipes. And then the rear vision mirror inserts as well. Okay, so that goes there. All right, so this is our final bag of bits. So I've got these rubber band looking tires, super fat. We've got the floor pan. So a big floor pan. So I'll only give you one, obviously, because the car will not change that. Got some more clear parts, multitude of clear parts. So these will be the ones to suit the um, LB works. You can see that written on there if you don't know which one's which. We've got some chromed discs. And then we have this selection of parts as well. So again, for the bottom of the chassis, You've got the uh, skid plates. So front skid plate, the rear. Now I'm assuming that the rear will be slightly different because uh, the LB Works one actually has uh, a ground effects tunnel at the back. Exhaust system, I think we saw a different exhaust system as well. And then these uh, calipers, I think there's a different set of those as well that we saw earlier. Probably gonna be bigger. And then there's a steering rod. So the front steering will work. Okay, so we'll just have a close look here. Nothing particularly special about the floor pan. I guess it's all the extras that you put onto it later that make all the difference. Okay, let's put those aside over here. And then we finish off with the bodywork. Okay, so bodywork here is the standard R35. Now it's very clever how they've designed it because They've got separate front and rear in anticipation of making all these customized kits. If they design these with you know, a fixed bonnet, then there'll be a lot of chopping to do to actually get into there. And it's nice that there's actually a engine bay. So they don't actually make any of these with engine detail, but there are a lot of aftermarket companies that do. So you could get a different type of engine, whatever engine you liked really, and popped it in there. You can see how clean even this bodywork is molded. And I mean, I guess this is probably the most important part because you want this, which has the main detail of the model to be quite representational of the real thing. So super clean, no flash. You've got a couple of points here which um, support the parts that need to be cut off. So you've got this T section there that needs to be cut off. And then there's a couple of supporting sprues here. They'll be trimmed off before everything goes on. Okay, so there are all the plastic parts. Quite extensive. A lot of uh, spare parts you'll be getting out of this. And then we finish that off with the manual. Okay, so we've got the manual here. A little bit of warnings on the front, Japanese and English. Then it folds out, gives you some detailed views of how you do the modification. So even with this, you will still need to cut some areas because it's going to be heavily lowered so you need to trim a little bit of area here just to get everything to fit properly. Okay, so from there, we'll fold it out and we'll start getting into all the rest of the assembly. So here we've got the painting instructions. Just so you can get ready with um, uh, where you want the placement of decals and such. But again, there's so many decals, you can do whatever you like there, customize it yourself. Over here, we've got the painting of the floor pan, lower chassis, and then the actual construction is here and it begins with the uprights for the suspension and the steering and the disc brakes and the calipers. Okay, so you're doing a left and right for the front and back. And then we're moving to mounting all that up onto the floor pan. 
putting the wheels together with the tyres. Actually, the tyres are actually tapered so they can get that real heavy camber look. You've got the skid plate going on over the top of that. Rear end is put into place, so you've got your struts, rear wheels and tyres. Start moving over here. See, and then we've got uh, uh, the exhaust system, rear skid plate. Over here we've got the interior getting put together. So your armrest, or your, your gear shift as well. Got the seats going in. All the panels for internal tub, glass sections into the body. All the finer details such as rear vision mirrors and such. And then there's the construction of the front air dam. Okay, so there's a multi-layered there. You've got the, the grill with the bumper section. And then you've got the front apron going on top of that and mounted onto actual bodywork. The specific lenses for this particular car, they go on the inside. These are the rear lights, multi-layer with the, uh, the chrome silver, the clear and then the clear red. And then that goes into the rear bumper section. Construction of the massive rear wing, rear wing mounting and then fitment of all of these uh, body panels. So the big blisters for wheel arches. Fitment of the body to the actual chassis. So this is quite a common feature on a lot of 24 scale cars. So they're designed to be actually clipped into place. And then over here we finish it off with the ground effects on the rear end. Additional corners for the rear apron. And then the special LB works uh, bonnet going into place and the uh, windshield wipers. So over here where we look at the legend of all the parts, you see all the shaded sections. So they're all the parts that you won't be using for this particular kit. You can use those in your spare parts box if you do uh, do a lot of customizing, uh, or you can use those for anything you like at a later stage. So that's it there. So this is really lovely kit. After seeing it in this much detail, I feel like building one myself. It's quite a bit of a challenge because there will be a lot of um, uh, modifying to do. So you imagine with this, body kit you still need to trim some of these arches and then put on those big fat wheel arches and then you can have fun choosing what sort of custom color you like and then fitting an engine if you like you'll have to find your own aftermarket parts for that there's even 3d printed engines you can get these days and you end up with a really unique very aggressive looking road car so that's my open box review of this one so that's the Ayoshima Liberty Walk R35 GTR and that's in 24 scale